Data science may be sexy, but data engineering is marriage material. Let's settle this once and for all. Why being a data engineer is not just better, but it's cleaner, faster, and less full of lies. Reason number one, most companies have no business doing data science. You ever see a company try to do predictive analytics on 1,000 rows of marketing data exported from Excel 2013, with half the fields null and the date column stored as a string? We're going to use AI to revolutionize user engagement. Buddy, you don't even have user IDs that match between tables. Data scientists walk in thinking they're gonna build deep learning models. What they actually do is cry in pandas for six months trying to merge sales Q3 final final updated CSV with customer table V2. Reason number two, data science projects are Schrodinger's deliverables. You build a pipeline, it either works or it doesn't. You build a model, well, maybe it works. Maybe it kind of works. Maybe it only works for male users aged 18 to 24 during lunar eclipses. Can we use this model to increase revenue? Well, with 87% confidence assuming homocedasticity and a sufficient margin of error across cross-validated folds, you're fired. <laughs> Reason number three, engineers have CI, CD, data scientists have notebooks. Data engineers write modular, testable code versioned in Git, deployed via CI, CD, and provisioned with Terraform. They monitor it with Prometheus, push to staging, and ship to production. Data scientists, they've got final model version seven really final Jupyter notebook file in a folder called temp, running in a haunted conda environment with zero reproducibility. Their workflow, run cell 12, skip cell eight, rerun the kernel, and pray. This isn't code, it's Schrodinger's spaghetti. It works and breaks at the same time. depending on whether Mercury is in retrograde or not. Reason number four, data engineers build, data scientists guess. Data engineers ship. Your job is to create robust pipelines, automate ingestion, manage orchestration. You deploy, you monitor, you wake up at 2 a.m. when your DAG dies in production. Data scientists, they're still arguing over which flavor of XG Boost to use because their model underperforms on users with Hotmail addresses. We need to add more features. No, you need to go touch grass. Reason number five, data engineering is just software engineering with bigger JSONs. Do you like building real systems that don't fall apart under pressure? Welcome to data engineering. Kubernetes, you'll use it. Airflow, yes. Terraform, probably. Bash, every damn day. Compare that to data science. Your job is to explain why your logistic regression didn't work to a stakeholder who thinks Python is a kind of snake. Nearly killed both of us. Son of a gun. They'll ask, can we add ChatGPT to the dashboard? You'll say, sure, let me just real quick rewrite the laws of statistical inference. Reason number six, demand versus supply. Every econ major, chem grad, and yoga instructor who took a six-week boot camp is now applying to data science jobs. Meanwhile, try finding a good data engineer who knows how to do distributed systems, handle API rate limits, and not lose their mind writing DBT tests. Good data engineers are unicorns. Good data scientists, a eh, there's like 40,000 of them per LinkedIn post. Bonus round deployment hell. You know the fastest way to piss off a data engineer? Ask them to productionize a model someone trained in a notebook using Pickle and a random Conda environment from 2019. It worked on my machine. Oh, really, Chad? Well, it's breaking in Kubernetes because you forgot to freeze your dependencies and now scikit-learn updated again. Yeah, data scientists build models, but none of it works without solid data engineering behind it. So next time someone brags about their ML accuracy, ask who built the pipeline then go thank that engineer. Data scientists get the spotlight. Data engineers get a job. If this hit a little too close to home, you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. Bye, bitches! <laughs>